Today, we are talking about step up and step down transformers. Go! You have been asking for this for a very long time. Yes, today we're going to talk about some good quality step up and step down transformers, what to look out for, what are the rules, if it does have an impact or not on our precious hi-fi gear. Okay, let's dive in immediately. Let's go. Okay, so I am convinced that a good step up and a good step down transformer may not increase the quality of your experience, but at least it won't change it, okay? Almost like cables. Uh, you have to get a quality piece of gear. You don't have to get something made out of unicorn horns. Wow. With mermaid hair. Whoa. Or things like that. No, but something correctly done. A quality step up or step down transformer that delivers the power with no effort, effortless, effortlessly to your gear. The most important, clearly, I would say, is on one side the preamplifiers, which need a delicate signal, meaning that the the, the the quality of the power has to be clean. So for that reason, it's good to also have a power, a mains condition, a power filter of some kind. Not too strong. You don't want to change or restrain the, the, the quantity, the power. But it should be a quality uh, power strip or just plain and simple filter, okay? That will help a lot. Once again, especially for the preamplifier types or sources, because sources do have preamplifiers inside in most cases. And also the other side, the other fundamental component, your amplifier, which is probably the most important part, especially when we're talking about transformers and energy and power, because they are sensible to what they are been fed up from meaning the power that goes inside them. So on one side, you're going to need plenty of power. So the amplifier is not starving, meaning you're going to need a powerful step up or step down transformer, depending from where you live. The general rule, the rule of thumb is when we're talking about powering something, the step up or step down transformer should be at least 10 times the nominal power of that piece of gear. For example, the power absorption of, say, an amplifier is 40 watts. You want, you would like to have at least a stepped up or stepped down transformer that is capable of dealing with 400 watts, okay? Don't look at the amount of watts of the amplification. That's a different story. You want to know what is consuming, what kind of power it requires, okay? And at that point, you do a multiplication of 10 times. Generally, that should put you in a safe place, let's say. If it's more or less, no problem, clearly. Unless we're talking a really power-hungry amplifiers, but at that point, uh, maybe I would start thinking at a dedicated line from your power circuit. Okay, with a different voltage, clearly, at that point. That's why we're using these step-up and step-down transformers, because we have different voltages in our houses in, in contrast with that piece of gear that you got in Japan, with that piece of gear that you purchased in the U.S. or in Europe, and vice versa. That is always the problem. Uh, when we're talking about the frequency, 50 or 60, don't worry, I mean, they adapt. So the important is the, um, the voltage. And be careful, because a lot of times the voltage is close to, meaning, for example, we have 100 um, volts in Japan. Don't use 110. 
look for stuff that is outputting 100 volts. Uh, America is a little more fluctuating, like in Europe. So it can go from 110, 15 to 120. So maybe something in the middle could be ideal. Nevertheless, you can measure, measure in your power socket with a voltmeter or, yeah, I would say a voltmeter just to immediately know what is the voltage of your home because that can change. For example, here in Europe, we have Generally, if you look on Wikipedia, it says 220, which is the common voltage in Europe. But when you try in the plug, in my plug at my home, I, I read 230. Hence, why am I saying this? Look for a step up or a step down transformer that is capable of delivering that specific voltage. It's going to be better. Absolutely. Okay. Meaning that if it's too high or if it's too low, it's not the ideal solution, unfortunately. Okay, let's start to look at a few models. Disclaimer, I am not the expert of stepped up and stepped down and transformers, meaning I have not tested dozens and dozens. I have just used a few, and I will give you my uh, idea, my reflections, my comments on what I have here, okay? This does not mean that there are the best of the best or the worst of the worst out there, no. It's just some things I stumbled upon, or I, I searched for, actually, especially one or two, which gave me great satisfaction. But that doesn't mean there's something better. But it's hard. It's hard to find quality step-up and step-down transformers. Most people just surrenders and goes on Amazon and gets the first thing they, say they find. Try not to do that. There is something good on Amazon, though. Okay, let's start from a disappointment. At least in my experience, I got this little baby here. This is made by the Tube Amp Doctor, which one would think it's carefully designed or tuned and not designed because he's not making these. He's just rebranding them, I believe. Uh, but you would think that he was selecting something good because we're talking about tubes. And tubes are always delicate, okay? They really need quality power. So I got this uh, in order to have, as you can see, an American uh, US output. Because as you know, I am based in Italy, in Europe. So I have 220 more or less, which is going to be my input. No, it says 230 actually, so that's pretty good. And I must admit that this was a disappointment. It, it has a, a toroidal transformer inside, but it ju it's just not that good. It actually, um, it's not broken, but it's not working correctly. It created some problems with some equipment. So I do not recommend this. Maybe it was only this piece. Maybe it was it's only my experience. That could be. I don't want to demolish uh, a brand, but I had a negative experience with this. Okay. Let's proceed to our, our second one. Now, if you start roaming on Amazon, more or less in every country, you're gonna see something oh, like this baby right here. Whoa, that was close. Is they're, they're really, really heavy. The, they all almost all have these toroidal transformers and everybody goes, ooh, a toroidal transformer must be the best. Not anymore, I mean, there are too many. And every all, all these are all these are all Chinese. Even the one before Chinese. So the the vast majority are Chinese. Uh, as you can see, the good part here is that you have two types of output. You can have you can still uh, um, power something to, with two thirty volts, but at the same time, uh, something for the U.S. with one hundred and ten. Obviously, you have to select in the rear the input voltage okay i think you can see it which is something cool because that means you can use this in multiple countries and see it's pure sine wave but clearly i mean it's an analog machine there is no electronics in here if not some resistors or things like that it's just it's a transformer in the end so of course it's going to be analog and um this is decent, but I do not recommend it once again. 
I didn't have any problems, but the results were mediocre because I found something better, actually. Okay, let's start now with things of better quality, at least in my opinion. Once again, roaming Amazon because I don't find that much stuff. If you guys have any suggestions, please write them down in the comments. It's very hard. Even something custom. People who, shops, engineers who are doing these custom. Just put the links or write them and I'll add, I'll add the link if it doesn't show up. Google sometimes, YouTube blocks them. I'll put them in the video description to have some resources for the community, for everyone. Because it's hard. And I got this baby, which I used. The Kroni Krieger, Krieger, which I'm sure you have seen. This is a massive baby. This is for 1,150 watts transformer. So, big time. It's very heavy. Huge toroidal transformer. And here you have three plugs, which is cool. With the US type of, of plug, you can use it with or without the, the ground. Uh, but also the English type, if you're using a different kind of input. Once again, even here you can select the voltage that is going inside, that it's powering the baby. So, I like the fact that you have the fuses. That's also a good thing. In fact, as a matter of fact, I changed the, the fuse and I found some benefits. Nothing to write home about, but they were decent. So remember, that could be also something to do if you want to fine-tune your baby. And this is pretty good, even though, even though, in the last weeks, I would say, it started a little bit to vibrate inside, making a very unpleasant noise. And we don't want noise of any type. Hum, clearly, but in this case, mechanical. No mechanical hum, thank you. Maybe I just have to screw this better, could be. But it started to do that. But up until then, with my Macintoshes, very good. Much better than the other ones. I just found some benefits. Once again, nothing incredible. You can plug it in the damn, uh, the first kind you find, okay? It's not going to do a night and day difference. We're talking about subtle differences, at least up until now. Then I started at a certain point to buy Japanese stuff and I already had some transformers, crappy ones. Uh, I don't even know where they are, but finally I decided to buy something of high quality. And on eBay, you can find this guy if you want to use Japanese equipment uh, in Europe or in the US. You have to clearly pick the model and it's this baby. Whoa right over here this tiny little green fella which i like a lot and you can just sense that this is very high quality now uh the krieger went for i think 120 euro i'll write the correct price here that i got it okay maybe it, it changes around the world etc this was it changes even on ebay i saw that it's around 350, I think, something like that. Dollars, euro, more or less. It also has a ground. The brand is Nisio, okay? Nisio, I think you can see that. Very cool. It also shows you, whoops, the amount of power that you're drawing from. This is 1,500 watts, so a lot of power. And this is not a toroidal transformer. Oh, it's really heavy. I don't know exactly. It looks like the laminated type. A lot of people, a lot of hi-fi guys use this when they want to power their Japanese stuff. And I must admit, it's fantastic. You have two inputs, one with the ground, one without, for US stuff, or clearly Japanese stuff, because they have the same plug. No, sorry. <laughs> Not US stuff. I mean US plugs, but you don't want that clearly because this is gonna you're gonna use this for Japanese stuff. The input is I got it as I said for my voltage here, which is 230. Okay. Apart from this, let's go back a little bit to uh America to the US voltage. 
And recently I got something that is at another level, I must admit. Which, much more silent, that's what it did. I wasn't listening, hearing amazing things in the music, but there was less noise, okay? Noise was nice and clean. And I, I, well, I bet, I mean, it is an incredible uh, piece of gear. What is it? Uh, maybe you've, you guys heard about it, a vault craft. These are used in hospitals. Uh, you can also get the certified version, which just have a certification because they really use it in medical environments. And this is clearly at another level. If you want something really clear and transparent, I would go for one of these. Uh, I'm using it now for uh, my power, um, my uh, <laughs> my preamplifier, which uh, doesn't clearly demand that much. So this is just a 400 watt model, but there's much more, 1,000, 2,000, I think also. Huge babies. Check the measurements because they're huge. It also shows you if the connection is... Uh, the level, the, um, the the phase is correct. If it's, I don't know if you guys know, but when you have a two prong, let's see, like this, you don't know which is the hot pole. Okay, I have special gizmos to see to check. I did a video actually on this. If you want to learn more a little bit, here is the link. You're gonna find the links in the video description. So you don't really know in Europe or in other situations when you have two prongs where, which is the hot pole. And you want to insert it in the socket of the hot pole, otherwise it has to go up and down. It's just better to have it, have it in phase. Well, this guy tells you if it's not or if it is, okay? So that is very cool. Here you can select the output that you want. That's why there's also a EU plug here, but also a Japanese or US plug. And clearly in the back also, you can decide uh, which kind of input voltage you want. So you can use it, really use this everywhere. Very, very cool. And I must admit, very high quality. See, there's also a nice uh, quality here, past. Made in India, I guess, at least not in China. But it's very good. And once again, they're using these in uh, hospitals. Okay, I hope I gave you a few hints, uh, some help on what to choose, what to look out for. Once again, please write your comments, your suggestions here below. We're all interested. Thank you again for watching, and remember that music is born analog. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.